so last night at the end of Capcom Cup, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite had a gameplay trailer actually released and it featured Mega Man X, Ryu, Captain Marvel, and Iron Man in the game's new 2v2 format. We're going to go into theater mode and I'll play it through once at full speed and then once at half speed where I break down some of the mechanics of the game that I can see from the trailer. So yeah, that was the um, the trailer. Now let's go back and look at a couple of things. Obviously, confirmed characters. I love I love Mega Man X. I'm a big fan of the series, and I'm glad that he's in the game. But his face looks a little bit funny to me. Not gonna complain. At least the game is happening. <coughs> so, all right, we're gonna put it at half speed here, and we're gonna mute it because half speed sounds horrible, but. Right off the bat, you see Iron Iron Man using a, what looks to be a Unibeam special, and X is air dashing over it, so X has an air dash, and right here, they look like they're doing some sort of tag combo, which, when I first watched the trailer, I thought it was reminiscent of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, but if you look at it closer, Mega Man stays on screen, ready to jump back in to continue the combo, so it could be the new form of, like... TAC, but like not in the air, just like I guess TC team combo, or it could be sort of like tech and tag, where you would tag in your opponent, they would do like a string of hits, and then your first character would come back in, which that's what I think is happening here. So it looks to be like a completely new system that hasn't been implemented in a game before. Let's continue the trailer. We see Ryu using a wall bounce, but it looks like X launches him before. And his super is just a big projectile. Not a surprise there. Iron Man with the launch. That move right there. That is a repulsor blast, obviously. But it's nothing like his repulsor blast was in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or Ultimate Marvel. So it looks like it shoots straight out and goes upwards. Has a weird looking hitbox. She's got a grab. Ca Captain Marvel has a grab that's a wall bounce. Spikes him down into the tag combo. And this is. Looks like the sound effects that came along with it looked like his uh, level 3 from Ultimate Marvel. But he's not sliding across the ground. So it looks like it'll be a lot easier to use, which will probably make this character, Iron Man, a lot better. But we'll see. Then we got Ryu. The Shota doing a basic string into a super. Yeah, of course, sure you can. So just then, she was glowing bluish, which reminds me of the gems from Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Not sure if that's just because she recently tagged in or if it's going to have a similar gem system, but yeah, just wanted to point that out. Her super is a beam super too. This is a DHC. Those are still in the game. And here's the power stone, the infinity stones. What it looks like to me is he gets like an infinite number of ground or wall bounces for a limited time. But these could all be different clips that they just put together for dramatic effect. We'll see. Time infinity stone looks to definitely make her faster and also give her teleports. So yeah, she looks much, much faster. 
And this looks like a little bit of a complex string she's doing underground. And that's probably her level 3. And that's pretty much everything that I could glean from this trailer. So yeah.